That's Demi Lovato leading a tribute to the supergroup The Bee Gees for a special that will air Sunday on CBS. Barry Gibb was there as the only remaining member of the chart-topping band. We spoke with him at his Miami Beach home about the enduring music he made with his brothers and how he's moving on without them. He's the last surviving Bee Gee. But at 70 years old, Barry Gibb says he's enjoying being his age. The point comes when young ladies look at you, but they're actually looking over their, your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when that starts happening, that's the moment. <laughs> well, for someone like you, who was a yeah. huge sex symbol, oh, what, about that. What, is the, what, is that, what does that feel like? Well, I haven't experienced it yet. <laughs> <laughs> the Bee Gees, brothers Barry, Robin, and Morris Gibb, recorded or wrote more than 40 top 40 hits across four decades. Their remarkable career will be celebrated in a primetime special Sunday night on CBS. What does having a special like this mean to you? It, it, it's dozens of thoughts. How much laughter we actually had, mm -hmm. how many really nice songs we came up with. I could never see tomorrow. And hearing other people sing them. Years ago this December, the Bee Gees scored their biggest success when Saturday Night Fever was released. It made a movie star of John Travolta, and its soundtrack would spend six months at number one. We achieved whatever that dream was. Whatever happened afterwards, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We got there somehow. How deep is your love? Fever went on to sell 40 million copies and permanently imprinted the Bee Gees on pop culture. But a series of tragic losses would shatter the family. In 1988, youngest brother Andy died of drug-related causes. In 2003, Morris died suddenly of a tangled intestine. You don't know what it's like. Then in 2012, Baby, Robin lost a long battle with cancer. Right so when I lost them all, um, I didn't know whether I wanted to go on. I'm leading a double life. I'm being, I'm trying to be me, the individual, but I'm also, I also feel passionate that I have to be one of the Bee Gees no matter what happens. Right. So, um, Was there some part of you that wishes to give that up in some way? No, but I have to say that there were moments when I didn't really want to go on about it any longer. I didn't want to, I didn't want to dwell on loss any longer. In 2014, Barry Gibb finally went out on his own, on his first ever solo tour. How did it feel? <sighs> Bittersweet. But I love being on that stage, and I love those people and the way they respond mm -hmm. to the songs. The concern for me is, is, is to find contentment, to be content with everything that's happened. Mm -hmm. Are you like, content? Yeah, I think I am. Did it take you a while to get there? Yeah, it took me a decade to get there. Um, Did you have to change somehow, do you think? Yes. I had, to, I, I had to give up on issues in life that I'd had with my brothers. I had to walk away from those things and I had to, to get into, into a world of uh, forgiveness. What did you have to forgive? More than anything, the sibling rivalry. Mm -hmm. we, I had to let go of that. It, it must be difficult to forgive when you're the only one left if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. There's not a conversation anymore. That's been hard because for me, there still has been a conversation. Yeah. You know, I, I, I've spent many days over the, over the last decade talking to my brothers. 
And sometimes I talk to them on stage. <laughs> oh, it's it's yes. funny how sometimes you can hear somebody's voice even louder yes, when they're no when they're longer there. <laughs> I'm getting used to the word, no. But Barry Gibbs <laughs> says he's learning to enjoy just being around. Seize life, that's the thing. That's where you are now. That's where I am now, as long as it happens after 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seizing anything until 11 o'clock. <laughs> Boy, that has a nice touch. And you can watch Staying Alive, a Grammy salute to the music of the Bee Gees this Sunday night. It airs at 8, 7 central right here on CBS. He has changed. I've interviewed him four times since 2009. And every time he's moved a little further along in dealing with the loss of his brothers, he's come a long way. And that music remains as influential now as it ever has. You could see the resonance of the questions before he answered. Mm -hmm. That's interesting.